and you said something so brilliant about Rhea Ripley, and I really appreciated it. Uh, beyond just the fact that she's connecting with fans so much in the audience, you said she's aware of both of how both men and women feel about her. Um, kind of, it's more fluid in that way. Um, and this intense connection that she has with the fans, and it's not just national, it's universal, really. Um, can you just talk a little bit about her stardom? Because I know it stretches just beyond her presence. Um, yeah, she, Rhea Ripley, you know, for people who have not been watching WWE, is just a massive young star. She's now just getting to like her mid to late 20s, maybe 26 now. Um, she is like strong, like, china you know and also like charismatic and like as beautiful a woman as you'll see on television that is charming like she has a charming accent she has like everything that could work for her 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 athleticism how strong she is like literally her you will just like there'll be a segment where you're just like staring at her arms and you're like are yeah. you real like what what is this you know she's got so many different things that make her great her actual her move set the moves she's actually capable of doing in the ring are so cool right she just has so many things and yeah she has this awareness that people are not only super into her in-ring performance but that there is some sort of connection attraction that fans have to her like she knows it and she never hams it up by like she doesn't generally post like particularly sexy instagram pictures she doesn't do anything that's obvious or corny. Mm. She just knows it. And like the way that she carries herself and little things that she'll do, she'll just do a little thing that she knows, as I think I said on the podcast, she knows it's just slightly titillating. Yeah. And she just knows how to do it in this way that's so authentic, man. It's It's been awesome to watch her and I adore her. Like she, as a human being, she's just as popular and beloved a person as there is there, you know, um, Bianca Belair as well. Like I often talk about that, like that when yeah. those two showed up, all due respect to some, all the great superstars we have, but there is something special about like the heart of Rhea Ripley and Bianca Belair and the kindness that they've sort of brought with them. Um, like everyone roots for them. Like you just yeah. want them to be great. And fortunately for them and everybody else, they have been great. <laughs> Yeah, we have Raquel on the show. I, I'm obsessed with her too. She's the same way. What a beautiful, she, what a what a beautiful human being. I she can't. Is I, she makes me want to be a better person, and I'm not no, exaggerating. I, like I, not even exaggerating. No, she is um, a lovely, lovely person. Yeah. Well, you mentioned China. Do you think Rhea would have played well in different eras of WWE? Oh, I mean, I have to imagine. I mean, mm -hmm. obviously, it was a different time then. It was harder for women. They weren't getting the opportunities, so it's a sort of different animal, if you will. Mm -hmm. Um, but yeah, I mean, I think someone like her with the, the talent, the look, the charisma, yeah, I, I can't see an era existing where she wouldn't have made it happen. Maybe back in the day, she would have had too many tattoos. Mm, yeah. And that, and that would have been like, cause I mean, you didn't even see men with tattoos at that time. Yeah. So the idea of people being like a woman with tattoos on TV, what? Yeah. Um, so besides that, yeah, I can't see anything that would have held her back. She's just, she's too great.